All right, guys, Tony back again, and we got a good good chunk taken out of the uh, <clears throat> Boxster project. So I started this uh, today about noon, Saturday, July 1st. Started about noon and got it jacked up and the rear of the car taken apart uh, and the transmission out. So that's, uh, that's where we are so far. You can see in there, it looks pretty dark, but you might be able to see. There we go. That's the, uh, the clutch, <clears throat> the um, back of the engine, if you will, uh, where the transmission used to sit. <clears throat> so just trying to make a quick, uh, quick video. I stopped, um, stopped after I got the transmission out. I've been doing the uh, one frame every two seconds to kind of try and create a, uh, um, I don't know, time lapse. I guess is what they call it, time lapse video of uh, of the project. I'm gonna try and get back here. Maybe you can see a little bit better. Here's all the uh, the parts that have been removed um, so far: the bumper, the exhaust, driver's seat, bunch of uh, interior parts from where the engine is in the center, cross braces, the transmission, transmission mount, all the uh, subframe braces, sway bar covers on the bottom of the engine, the uh, wheel well compartments, heat, uh, heat shields. Um, all that <coughs> has been removed to get to the, uh, get to the transmission in the engine, so. Uh, it's been pretty straightforward so far, no issues um, uh, that I ran into, nothing, nothing, uh, no, no big deal at all. I mean, everything really came out pretty, <clears throat> pretty easy. I, I broke, uh, broke one of my uh, Mac tools, uh, quarter inch uh, air ratchet. I, I use this guy all the time and that's kind of a bummer. So uh, probably get that uh, repaired, replaced under warranty. Um, Unfortunately, my uh, 3 8 inch one is uh, not working either, so I need to need to find a Mac Tools dealer and uh, get those replaced. Um, but yeah, like I said, everything else has been going going really well. So I'm going to uh, get dirty again and start on the engine portion of it. There's a uh, there's a whole section that you have to do in the the trunk. Uh, the computer is behind here. Uh, you got to disconnect the whole wire harness for the engine and push it through a grommet right back here. Uh, dipstick, oil filler tube, that kind of stuff has to come out as well uh, from the engine compartment. Um, there's quite a few things in the engine compartment have to be done. Take out the mass airflow sensor, the auxiliary air for the emissions uh, pump. Um, the intake, she's quite a bit of stuff. The power steering <coughs> um, fluid reservoir, the power steering pump, the um, air conditioner uh, compressor actually comes out of the engine. It's actually underneath here. Instead of disconnecting the uh, uh, air conditioning lines, you actually just take the compressor out of the engine. Um, it's kind of a pain. They got it. They got it fit in there really well. But um, take that out. Uh, power, ground, um, the whole wiring harness, as I said, pushes through. You remove the dipstick, the oil filler tube, all from here. Uh, from the front of the engine, um, not a lot. I think you just pull the, uh, pull the pulley off, um, the belt off. All the pulleys, there's not much you really have to access, are due from there. The front engine mount is... Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's straight down there. You actually access it from the bottom of the car. Uh, that'll come out. Um, disconnect the fuel lines, disconnect the power steering lines below, and probably a handful of other little things that I've forgotten about, but I have a list. Uh, so I'll go through that list to make sure everything's done, and then uh, we start lowering it down. <clears throat> So it shouldn't be shouldn't be that big a deal. Like I said, I got the transmission out already. Um, we'll try and get everything else disconnected and get it uh, get it taken out. So it'd be uh, awesome if I could get the engine uh, on the ground today and on the stand. 
Um, I would be thrilled to death if I could get to uh, get to that point, and then maybe uh, <coughs> and then I start doing the tear down of the of the uh, hopefully cylinders one through three and the head. Remove the head, get that sent off to uh, uh, Len to get him to hopefully repair it. Get it back, get it back, put it back together. Bunch of new parts, and it's done. Almost seems too easy. All right, I'm gonna put this back on uh, time lapse and hopefully we'll get uh, time lapse of me taking the uh, engine out of the car today. So, talk to you later. <laughs>